Hey guys, what is going on? So today I've got the final part of my CD collection videos. So, um, this is part 7, I believe. Um, also, um, I forgot to show one CD in the previous video for the O's, because I'm an idiot. And this is like the third or fourth CD I've forgotten to show that I had to show in the next video. But this is Ozzy Osbourne with, uh, Memoirs of a Madman. It, <clears throat> excuse me. It's just like a Grace Hits. Um, it's alright. Um, I'm not, like, a massive Ozzy fan. But I enjoy, like, the first couple of songs in here. But the rest of it is mostly filler, like, from his later or more mid-career. But like, I enjoy, like, you know, like, the first two, maybe three albums by him. But, uh, there's the album cover, and there's the back. This is pretty easy to come by. I got it for pretty cheap at Amoeba um, Records for, like, eight bucks-ish. There's the inside. Um, there's the disc. Um, but, you know, like, all the classics, like Crazy Train, Mr. Crowley. Flying High Again, Over the Mountain, Mark of the Moon, The Ultimate Sin, Miracle Man, No More Tears, and pretty much after No More Tears, I don't really like any um, of the rest of the album, um, but, yeah. Next up, we got all my Suicidal Tendencies stuff, so, um, I got a lot of their albums. Uh, first up, the uh, self-titled, fucking love this, this is my favorite album from them, and, um, it's a little bit overrated as far as how, like, I don't know, it's pretty groundbreaking, especially for its time with combining, like, metal and punk. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is probably the first crossover album. But, um, it's not, like, some grand opus or anything, like a lot of people say this. But it's my favorite album from them. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, I really like the album cover. There's the back of the track listing. And then there's the, uh, inside. Um, very different lineup for this band, too. I believe the only person here who is still in the band is, uh, Mike Mira, obviously. But anyways, just a perfect album. So many amazing songs in here. All of them are really great. But some of my favorites are I Shot the Devil, Suicide is an Alternative, Slash You'll Be Sorry, uh, Subliminal, um, of course Institutionalized. Who doesn't love that song? I, I, I really like, you know, just the lyrics. You know, All I Wanted Was a Pepsi. Just awesomely hilarious. Um, I Saw Your Mommy. The lyrics of that song are so funny and really just hilarious. Um, I Want More, Suicidal Failure. It's just a great album, really. Um, if you're in a hardcore punk, you'll love this, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Alright, next up, their, uh, second album, Join the Army. Not quite as good as the first album, in my opinion, but still a pretty good album. Uh, horrendous album cover, though, like, it's a pretty bad album cover. With, like, Mike Mirror, and he has, like, a mullet, and he's, like, pointing at you, and he looks all buff when in real life. He's kind of, like, chubby. <laughs> um, no offense to Mike Mirror, but, like, yeah, it's just, like, corny. I think, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, or if it's supposed to be, like, a joke, but I don't even know. But really good album. This, they got more thrashy on here and less hardcore punk, uh, especially in their lyrics. Their lyrics are, there's less, like, more uh, fun songs on here, and their lyrics are a little bit, not darker, but more personal in some places, with songs like A Little Each Day, or, um, you know, like, uh, You Got, I Want. Um, and then there's also the really, like, uh, anthemic kind of songs like, you know, Join the Army, Suicidal Maniac, um, Psycho, and then like, there's also some like really fun songs like Possessed to Skate and War on the Side of My Head, but uh, it's an okay album. Still really good. Uh, next up, we've got a box set from Suicidal Tendencies. This is the five classic albums box set. Um, so it's got uh, How Will I Laugh Tomorrow, um, Control by Hatred, Feel Like Shit, Deja Vu. White's Camera Revolution, Art of Rebellion, and uh, Still Psycho after all these years. And in my opinion, I feel like they should have just cut off Art of Rebellion and Still Psycho and just put in uh, these two, just because like it, it will work more. Because uh, then you'd have all their like their best albums. Because Art of Rebellion and Still Psycho, they're not horrible albums, but they're not as good as the other, the rest of their earlier discography beforehand. But um, yeah, really nice packaging actually compared to my Megadeth Five albums box set. Um. It's actually an uh, import from Europe. I don't know if there's any correlation, but uh, I actually got this for like 20 bucks, so for five albums, that's pretty good. Um, so here's Hello I Laugh Tomorrow. Although I think that for the album covers, or like the little sleeves, they just photocopied the vinyl uh, sleeves, because like, um, on this album, there's a bonus track in the middle of the album, um, and it's not listed on here, but it is listed on the back of here, so that's a little weird. Um, but this is a pretty good album. It's even more thrashy. Then, uh, Join the Army. And this is where they pretty much got straight up thrash metal. Because uh, this was more crossover, and this one is where they really got more cro uh, thrash metal. The, the lyrics on here are even more personal. 
And I think the only the only song I hear that's like other than Surf and Slam that's really more like anthemic is like um uh Pledge Your Allegiance, but the rest of it, like the tile track is really good. Um Trip at the Brain is also fun. There's still fun songs here, but most of the lyrics that are on here are more uh like, you know, like personal. Or the song One Too Many Times is good. Um, but pretty solid album. Uh, not my favorite from them, but still very good. And uh, there's the disc. All the discs in the box set are like this. And my cat just walked in, so let me close the door. And he decided to walk out. Wonderful. <laughs> I thought he was back in there. Whatever. But yeah, good album. Next up, not an album I'm extremely fond of, but it's still a decent album. Uh, Control by Hatred, Feel Like Shit, Deja Vu. Um, it's pretty good. It's not their best, but it's kind of... Uh, oh, my voice just cracked so bad. It's like a continuation of this style, but it's almost like a compilation. Like, there's like a remake of How Laugh Tomorrow. That's the radio edit. And, um... Like, most of the songs here are a lot more lo-fi. Or just the production isn't the best. Like, um, Mike's vocals are really quiet. Um, but it's still a pretty good album. Although, I'm not 100% sure if I would consider this a full album. I don't know, but... Yeah. Alright, next up, uh, pretty popular album from them, Lights, Camera, Revolution. This is a really good album. There's some filler on it towards the end, but as a whole, it's still a pretty good album. There's the album cover, and this is also their first album with um, Rob Trujillo, who later joined Metallica, which is pretty much what he's known for, but this has one of their most popular songs, which is You Can't Bring Me Down. And there's also, you know, really good songs like Lost Again, Alone, uh, Lovely is a really funny song, um, Send Me Your Money is good. Um, it's just, or Disco's Out, Murder's In, really good song title. Uh, just pretty good album. Alright, next up is uh, R for Billing. I'm not a big fan of this album. This is basically like what he, what Mike Muir did when he um, when he made it on uh, the side project in Infectious Grooves, and he just brought that back into Suicidal Tendencies, which I don't think was a very good idea, because it, it's just basically like a really funk-inspired, like, hard rock album that's not really a crossover thrash album or a hardcore punk album. It's alright, I don't know. Like, there, there are some pretty popular songs from them on here, though, like, uh, Nobody Hears, um, you know, like, I Wasn't Meant to Feel This, Slash Asleep at the Wheel, um, I'll Hit You Better, but, um, I don't know, it's okay. I don't like his vocals on there, he doesn't really scream at all, or rant at all, he just kind of does his clean vocals, um, which is something I'm not a huge fan of, I prefer his more, like, you know, um, like, really angry or just ranting, like, on this album. But, yeah, next album is a remake of this album. Still Psycho, still psycho After All These Years. It's, it's okay. It's, uh, I used to, this is the album that got me into them, but I'm not as big a fan of it as I used to be. It's good, but it kind of lacks the anger that the first album had. Um, some of the songs on here are better than the ones on, if the versions are on, on here are better than on here. And there's actually a few songs from Join the Army that are on here. Like, I, this, this has a little each day, um, but it's pretty good. I don't know. The production's a lot better, for sure. And they're playing more tight, but it's just the vocals that really kind of turns it off, turns me off from that album. All right, next up, we've got my only CD from TSOL. Um, my other release from them, Dance With Me, is on vinyl, but this is uh, their self-titled EP, and it also has the Weather Statue CD. If you're in a hardcore punk, you got to check this out. You'll love this if you like, like, California uh, or, like, L.A. hardcore. Oh, this is Orange County hardcore more, but... I really like that album cover, just for that simple shot of the band performing live. And there's the back. And, uh, there's the inside. But really good. And there's the Weather Statues EP album cover. Um, yeah, every song here is amazing. Like, Superficial Love, Property is Theft, No Way Out. Uh, probably one of the most popular songs, Abolish Government slash No Way Out. Uh, I mean, Abolish Government slash Silent Majority, uh, World War Three. And then there's the Weather Statues EP. Um, pretty good songs on there, like, um, this, the title track, or Thoughts of Today. Where it is actually has a little bit of a like a reggae kind of vibe, but uh, really good. All right, next up, we've got pretty much all the albums from this one band that I don't listen to anymore, but when I was a little kid, I worshipped this band in like elementary school, so just bear with me. I'm pretty sure this isn't really anything any of you guys watching my channel are super interested in, but I don't know. This is The White Stripes. Uh, here's their self-titled debut album. I think this is their best album, to be honest. Actually, no. This is like their second best album. It's really good. It's more raw and it has more of like a almost kind of like a traditional punk influence or maybe garage, more garage rock influence. But there's no songs on here that are overplayed, which is one of the things I like about it. Um, I like the songs like Jimmy the Exploder, uh, Stop Breaking Down, The Big Three Killed My Baby, 
sugar never tasted so good. Broken Bricks is pretty overplayed. Um, you know, that's like the only popular song I hear. Screwdriver. Um, I like the song. Um, where is it? Oh, when I hear my name. It's, it's it's a good album. All right, now we have my favorite album from this band. I still listen to this sometimes to this day. Destigial. Um, I really like this album. There's more of a bluesy kind of vibe on here almost. Uh, there's the album cover. All the White Stripes album covers are very similar. It's just pictures of the band members standing around some sort of scenery that's red, white, and black. But uh, there's the back. Um, I really like the song uh, Death Letter, which is a cover from Sunhouse. I mean, it's it's a pretty good cover. Um, there's some other good songs on here, like uh, Hello Operator. You're pretty good looking for a girl. Apple Blossom. Uh, uh, why can't you be nicer to me? Um, Jumble Jumble. Uh, it's a good album. It's a really good album. But, uh, there's the inside. I remember this is. I got this in like the fourth grade, and I, this is like all I listened to in the fourth grade. Just a really good album. All right, next we have, in my opinion, their last great album. Uh, White Blood Cells. It's it's a good, good album. It's this is where they started to get more popular. With like songs like Dead Leaves in the Dirty Ground and Hotel Yorba. Um, but yeah. It's it's really messed up the case. But there's that. Really weird album cover too. Anyways, uh this is a pretty good album to be honest. I really like the song Aluminum. Um, there's a lot of like guitar feedback in that song, that's kinda cool. Um, the the back cover is also really weird. I don't know. Alright, now I have where I think they didn't sell out, but they just got more mainstream and a lot of their songs started to get really overplayed. And this is Elephant. Uh, this is the album that has Seven Nation Army. I don't know. This is the album that got me into them back when I was like in elementary school in like the second or third grade. I don't know. These are all my parents' CDs actually that I borrowed a long time ago. I should really give them back because I don't listen to any of these anymore that much. CD case is broken because I didn't know how to take care of CDs back when I was in the third grade. There's the disc. And, you know, this is a pretty mainstream album. It's pretty. It's a good album, but it's just I don't like it as much as the earlier ones. Like, you know, Seven Nation Army, Black Math, uh, uh, Ball and Biscuit, um, There's Just No Home For You Here, uh, I don't know. Next we have probably one of my least, my least favorite album from them, Get Behind Me Satan. It's, it's okay, they had more of like a bluegrass kind of vibe on here, which I, I appreciate them for experimenting, but I'm just not a big fan of that kind of thing. There's the disc and all that. But yeah, uh, there is one good song on here though that I really like, which is Blue Orchid. And uh, actually, no, I also really like the song uh, As Ugly As I Seem and uh, Red Rain. But the rest of the album is mostly like acoustic songs. It's, it's okay. All right, down their last studio album before they broke up, Icky Thump. It's an okay album. Um, I don't know, I can't really judge because I don't listen to a lot of this anymore. Yeah, you know it has songs like the tile track, um, bone broke, low cream soda, uh, catch hell blues. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty good. All right, now we have a live album from them. Uh, this is actually my CD. I got this for my birthday in like the fifth grade. Uh, this is under Great White Northern Whites. It's just a live album. And there's also a DVD which I also have because um, you know I was a fanatic for this band in elementary school but um before i was into like punk and metal but you know just like live tracks like seven nation army of like, seven nation army icky thump uh, let's shake hands is a pretty good song that's not on any of their albums it's, yeah. all right now back to more stuff that i still listen to the last two cds are from uh, seven seconds a pretty good hardcore band from the 80s this is the crew excellent album this is their best in my opinion just really really good just awesome there's the album cover, and then there's the back. If you're in a hardcore punk like Minor Threat or Gorilla Biscuits, you'll uh, like this. It's a little bit more melodic, though. It's more like almost melodic hardcore. So if you're in a like, bad religion, you might even like this, too. But my, some of my favorite songs are Young Till I Die, Here's Your Warning, Not Just Boys Fun, uh, um, Trust. Yeah, pretty good. All right, now, not one of my favorite CDs I own, but this is 7 Seconds' this album, Take It Back, Take It On, Take It Over. This is a newer album. I believe it came out like what 2000 something like the early 2000s it's okay um they for some reason they got really pop, hot um like pop punky on here but what's weird is that there's one song where they're kind of ranting against that sort of thing like there's one song what's it called like 
um, big heart. I think it's Where's the Danger or Big Hardcore Mystery. They're like, like the lyrics are ranting about, like how um, like pop punk is like or like punk pop punk is like selling out. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense because they're playing in like a pop punk kind of style on sound. There are some good songs like All Came Undone, Meant to Be My Own, and uh, uh, Our Core, but the rest of it's kind of mostly filler. And there's actually 17 songs in here, but yeah, 7 Seconds, Take It Back, Take It On, Take It Over. I really like that album cover, though. That is cool. And the U pack's nice, but I'm just not a big fan of that album. The, their style on the album is just really unfocused and really kind of weird. And the courses, like, this is the thing with this album. Like, the, like, the verse will be super, like, kind of aggressive, you know, and more pissed off sounding. And then they'll play the, the chorus, and then it'll sound all poppy and upbeat, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, in contrast to the verse, but I don't know. But yeah, that's it for, that's pretty much all my, yeah, that is all my CD collection. I showed every single CD I own. So yeah, that's it for this series. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.